Hey, this is Elgin from the Crack Task Classic Podcast, back with another Motu Monday video here on YouTube. I'm sure, like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when a video like this comes out, which will be on a Monday for Motu Monday. Today, we're going to be looking at He Man, but not just any He Man, Galactic He Man. That's right. Space He Man, whatever you want to call him. That's what we're going to look at. On this episode. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we're back. We got the figure out of the box. Um, here's a look at the book and artwork. It's pretty cool. Where's the back of the box? Uh, Cross Cell has <clears throat> Frosta. Roboto, Stratos, and Evelyn, Batlin, <clears throat> He-Man, Galactic Protector. By the power of Eternia, the endangered planet of Primus is under attack by the evil mutants, leaving the Galactic Guardians but one choice. They traveled back through time to summon the one hero who could save them, He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. So this is basically their the Masterverse version of the new adventures of He-Man, Space He-Man, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> came after the Filmation series and after the first vintage series of figures. We tried to reboot it with uh, this new style of logo and everything and new figures and all that and stuff, but it kind of didn't do so hot so but i am excited to see this in the masterverse line to give it the kind of masterverse update and it does look very good here so of course very much classic looking let's <clears throat> go of course uh when it was packaged his ponytail was like stuck to his head so now it's like got stress marks from being like it's supposed to be down like that i think but it's got some stress marks there which is kind of annoying. Um, he does have this kind of uh, <clears throat> um, harness for his sword there. Um, but yes, kind of a, a younger looking He-Man um, modeled after that for reboot the series. Um, he does come with some accessories. He does come with his kind of translucent shield that which he can put on his arm. Much like the um, Battle Armor He-Man also had that option to <clears throat> put the arm, the shield on his forearm. Which I think it's pretty cool to do that. Uh, it does come with his little space helmet as well. Which just fits over his head like that. Uh, it does come with a couple extra hand sculpts. They're just fists. So he does have those. Um, he does come with that new version of the sword, that reboot version of the sword, which uh, this was like the number one seller for a toy. Um, the sword, the electronic power sword that they had that you could buy as a, for kids. That was like the best seller from this line. <clears throat> of course, can go on his back like that. You can hold it as well. That looks cool. Very lightsaber-like as well. Of course, he does come with the alternate armor as well. So, you could... <clears throat> let's see. Pop this open. Possibly. Like, Maybe, maybe, come on. Oh, there we go. And then we probably have to take off his head, his helmet, and drop everything. Pop off his head. Take off his other armor. 
So I don't think that'll go over that armor. Nope. All right. Uh, let's see. Take off this armor. Shield. That. This. This back on. This back on. This back on. Put this back on. All right. He's, he now has his full armor. His spacesuit type, very boxy, um, which is fine, I guess. <clears throat> um, can go back here as well to hold a sword, which is cool. So a couple of different options if you want to display this. Uh, you can use this full uh, armor or the one without the armor, the whole harness thing that he had earlier. There he is. I think it looks pretty good for a new adventure style. Uh, kind of, kind of nailed the the look of that uh, figure, but kind of I think improved it. You know, this is something that I would want to buy. The other ones I don't really want to buy. The other the other style of of this figure, the the vintage ones, I have no interest in buying them. But these masterpiece ones like this. Looks very good. So that's pretty much it for the figure. Um, overall, uh, a much needed update to that. I'm sure they probably did something like this in Classics line as well, but I didn't collect any of those. So cool to get the sword like that and everything. So there he is, the Galactic Protector. hanging out over there. <clears throat> uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when a video like this comes out, which will be on a Monday for Motu Monday here on YouTube. Uh, be sure to go to our website, which is www.cracktasticplastic.com. The website is a place to go for all the things you need to know, like links to our social media. And um, our sponsor is Toy Hacks at toyhacks.com for all your web label needs. And Big Bad Toy Store, where you can use our affiliate link, which is www.bbts com. it sends you straight there and tells you tells them that we told you to go there or something like that anyway change those bookmarks to bbts.cracktasticplastic.com uh what else there is uh our patreon for five dollars a month being part of our exclusive patreon chat uh we'll talk about toys or whatever else you want to talk about there that's only five dollars a month at patreon.com uh, we have Amazon wish list as well. It's getting near the Christmas season. If you felt generous enough to get us a gift, of course, no pressure to do that. But if you wanted to, we would give you a shout out and do a video like this um, showing what you got us. So check those out. Uh, all of our Amazon wish lists are on our website as well, along with merch and other thing bios and everything else. That you need to know about us is at www.cracktasticplastic.com. That's a lot. <laughs> anyway, this has been He Man or Galactic Protector He Man or Space He Man or whatever you want to call him He Man, uh, but he's here uh, saying see you later, and I've been saying ciao for now. Mm -hmm.